What up boys and welcome back to another video. So as I returned to playing retail, I started up again the series where I farm every single dungeon in the game a hundred times and also the open world uh, farms for 10 hours and I pretty much just save all the loot that I get from those farms and I show it to you guys before I post it on the auction house. Keep in mind that the items that I show are just like a handful of the items that I obtain. Like I uh, only keep the items to show in these videos, the items that I'm actually gonna post on the auction now. So obviously you get way more items than I'm showing right now, but the items that I'm left with are the items that are I consider good enough to post on the auction now. So before we dive into the items, I do wanna mention that this video is of course sponsored by myself and my zero to 10 million gold guide. So if you're struggling to make gold and you wanna use the same methods as I've used to gain a gold cap multiple times, make sure you check out the uh, the book that I made over a year ago. And if you use the code Shadowlands, you will get it for 50% off. So the link to that is down below in the description. So I've done so many of these videos that I'm not gonna show the routes of RFD, like how I farm it and like the entire loot table of the dungeon. I do, however, have a video on that. So if you wanna check that out because you don't know what you can get in RFD, and also uh, you wanna see how I run it, you can check out the link in the description down below. So we can dive straight into the sweet loot. So after farming it for 100 runs, this is what I ended up with. So in terms of green items, there's some items that I keep that are like, they're decent. They were part of sets that I know will sell, and I've moved them many times before. Like, Saltstone set is a banger. Obviously, Jade sells. The price right now is dog shit on my realm, but it's still worth keeping. All of these, like, uh, crowns and wizard hats, they, they tend to sell. Spark shell, like, ember silk robes. They just... I moved them so many times. I know they're going to sell, so that's why I'm keeping it. They're not that interesting, though. I did get two patterns. I got the Rune Mithril Hammer Blacksmithing pattern, and I also got the Craftsman Monocle. So there's so many good world drop patterns and plans in RFD. It's the perfect levels for a lot of the good ones, like Star Belt, Sarah, and Golden Blade, Rich Purple, but I didn't get any of them this time around. So that kind of sucked. Got one world drop epic though, the Gut Ripper, which I guess is okay. In terms of uh, world drop blue items that I got, I got myself a broken blade of the heroes and a pro tip if you guys uh, actually get this item, use the materials required in order to craft it. It's going to be like less than 100 golden materials and it's way easier to sell. Also got myself a Grim Reaper, a uh, Stalvin's Reaper and the Fireman Leggings. Fireman Leggings they sell very, very fast. They're like a super popular slot mug. And in terms of RFD specific items, items that you could only obtain from RFD, it was pretty damn bad. It really, really was. I mean, I got myself a quill shooter, a corpse shroud, double bone club, and a quill ward harness. Like, I'm so used to having insane luck in RFD and leaving RFD with way more blue items uh, than this. Like, I normally get, like, one of each, but, like, didn't even get the big-ticket items like Bone Slash or any of that. So, kind of bummed out. I've done a ton of 100 runs of RFD, and I don't think it's ever been, like, this few blue items. But all in all, if I use my TSM uh, bag value macro, it's going to end up being 341,000 gold on my realm. So making uh, roughly 34,000 gold an hour. It does, however, take way less than an hour to do 10 runs. So technically, it's like the gold per hour, like with minutes spent or hours spent inside the dungeon, is more like a 70,000 gold uh, per hour on these 100 runs. But uh, that was pretty much it from these RFD runs. So if you guys want me to test out a farm next, an open world farm or a dungeon for 100 runs, just type the dungeon down below and I'll add it to my to-do list. Uh, but that's it for now. So if you want to watch more videos like this one, make sure that you are subscribed and you have notifications on and you're going to be notified whenever I upload a video. And of course, don't forget to check out the 0 to 10 million gold guide 
But that's it for now. See you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.